today I'm going to be showing you how to hit an inside out forehand. If you haven't seen my tutorial on how to hit a modern forehand with lag, go check that out because I'm not going to be going over all of the mechanics of the forehand for this video. But I'm going to give you two things today which may be the reason why you haven't been able to hit an inside out forehand yet. So the first thing that you need to get is a proper follow through. Now this is different from a normal forehand because in order to get the ball to go that way, we have to get away from our body in the follow through. So normally at this point, we would go boom, right across. But for the inside out shot, we have to keep going away from our body. You have to over exaggerate this feeling before you finish your follow through. So I'm right handed. So for a righty, we would say swing out to the right, but you need to exaggerate this feeling way more than you think in order to get boom right through that shot and keep it going that way. Another thing that you need to do is fix the angle of your chest. I went over this in my other video, but essentially there is a laser beam in the center of your chest and it needs to be pointing to your target at contact and after contact, which means for the inside out forehand, you're gonna have to, boom, point inside out and stay inside out. Okay, we don't wanna overextend because that's not gonna allow you to hit your target. Okay, and this is a very effective shot. If the ball comes down the middle or just to the right of the middle, it's weaker, it's slower pace. You wanna rip a forehand to your opponent's backhand if they're a righty and I've used this, it's very, very effective in points. So I recommend you learn this skill. So just to recap, angle of the chest is pointing to our target and we keep going with the arm and you have to stop your body, okay? Don't over rotate. Now, a bonus tip. This may be another issue that you have with your shot. A lot of people on the forehand snap the wrist. If you do this, you are not gonna be able to hit inside out very effectively. I've seen this in a lot of lessons where I actually do drills where I make people hit inside out because it's good training for actually just swinging away from your body on every single shot. It really engraves that feeling of, okay, I'm not too close to the ball. I can, I can release, I can relax loose, but they all snap the wrist and I tell them to hit inside out and they can't even do it. All of the shots, they go to the deuce side. They go to the left every time. So this will also train your mind to uh, not get so close to the ball, to stop snapping the wrist. And you just wanna make sure that your follow through is really going away from your body. And once you master the racket lag, as well, which I talk about in my other video, you'll realize that your wrist will just catch naturally by itself and it will stay back during the hit. You do not want to snap it. So once you get the leg, the wrist is back and now wherever my chest is pointing, I essentially have a loaded weapon. I have a pistol that can fire anywhere. I just need to make sure that everything is aligned. My chest, also my toes, need to follow. Not after, but first. The racket is along for the ride. I mentioned this in my other video, but we go with the body first, always. Chest is your laser beam, stop your chest to your target. And I'm pivoting my toes. Swing starts with the legs, the hips, the chest, Swing from the shoulder, the arm is loose. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know in the comments what other videos you would like to see. And remember, dreams don't work unless you do. Perfect practice and lots of repetition. Vigorous, vigorous attempts it's going to take. But don't give up. No one is perfect. I didn't get here, you know, by giving up and I wasn't born out of the womb, a good tennis player, and it's going to take a lot of work. 
Thanks and please subscribe for more educational tennis videos. Ciao.